Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. What up? How are we doing? We made it to 2019. Yay! I'm so excited for this year. This year, I feel exceptionally different than the past couple years. I have a very, very good feeling about this year. I don't, I don't know why. I just have a really good feeling about it. Um, mainly because last year I was so weighed down and heavy. So I feel like this year I feel a lot better. I feel a lot lighter. I feel refreshed. I feel just better. 2018, when I came in 2018, I still had some heavy feelings about a few things. Um, and I didn't even know that I did until later on in the year when it all surfaced. First of all, happy new year. Um, happy birthday to me. Um, I was born on January 3rd, 1992 in Fort Worth, Texas in Hughley Hospital. I was born at 10 a.m. My mom was telling me the, my birth story. You was born at 10 a.m. I was watching The Price is Right. We didn't have no problems and it wasn't nothing crazy and you haven't given me any problems since. She gave me this long speech about how much of a great daughter I am and how sweet I am and all this wonderful, amazing things about myself that I just don't even really like believe half of it. But that's my mom with her encouraging speeches. Besides the point, my birthday was on the third. Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. If you saw on Instagram or Twitter that it was my birthday, thank you guys for wishing me a happy birthday. Um, I appreciate it and I love you guys. So I had a really good birthday. I am still currently fasting right now. So I didn't really do much on my birthday. We went and had, we had vegan dinner. <laughs> we had a vegan dinner, I had a vegan dessert. Cam got me the balloons back there, the VL balloons, and then um, these flowers, these colorful flowers here. My twin wife, my mom, Taylor, she got me these balloons and these flowers because we're mature, okay? I'm 27 years old. 26 was a hard year for me. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. 26 was a hard year. I'm kind of tired of talking about how hard that year was. Just know that that last year was a very, very pivotal year for me because it really threw a lot of stuff at me. Everything that was below the surface kind of came up and I had to deal with it. So I was like in between who I was as like a teenager, slash young adult and then my older self my adult fully grown woman self so i'm like right there in between those two people and they're like battling you know and i was really trying to figure out what parts of me were going to come from that old person and what parts we got to get rid of going into this new person this past year was a year of getting rid of a lot of my old bad habits that really didn't suit me, um, getting rid of a lot of the heavy weightiness of some of the issues I've never dealt with before, addressing some of the issues I've never dealt with before, and really confronting my old self and telling her, sis, you gotta go. We got things to do and I don't need to have you holding me back. And I think a lot of that, I really was able to figure out who I want to be in the future, who I need to be and what I just can't put up with anymore. Um, I was really sick of myself. Like I was really sick of some of the habits and some of the mindsets that I had just completely submersed myself in. And I was tired of it. And I'm just like, forget you. We're leaving you in 2018. <laughs> so what I am proud of in 2018, I actually had a good year. Um, I didn't have a whole bad year. It was some good stuff too. I went to a lot of in-person events in Chicago, which I said I wanted to come off camera. I've been saying that, that I wanted to come off camera and do more in-person things. I did a lot of that in 2017. So I continued that in 2018, but this time in my own area. I went to an event with Bai. I went to an event with Victoria's Secret. Went to a movie screening. Went to a Dunkin' Donuts event. I am trying to transition out of just being a beauty and influencer and being an, a lifestyle influencer as a whole. I'm actually really tired of YouTube beauty industry. And if you noticed, I wasn't really on YouTube a lot just because to be quite honest with you, I had no desire to make videos last year. I was really struggling. Like <laughs> apps are meant to be used and that's how you keep, you know, thriving on them is by using them. And I was not using YouTube. So it was really hard for me to continue to do it because I wasn't inspired by anybody on YouTube. I wasn't inspired by to do any content. I didn't want to do content. Every time I sat down to film, I was just like, Ugh, I don't want to do this. I didn't want to edit. It was just, YouTube was not my thing last year. And at the top of the year, I did say that I didn't want to do YouTube because I had to. I wanted to do it because I wanted to. And 
later on in the year I figured out I didn't want to so I didn't do it and to be quite honest with you guys I'm still working through figuring out what I want this platform to be because it's no longer become my main source of fulfillment I don't get fulfillment from YouTube anymore and um, a lot of that has to do with just the fact that I'm really not inspired by anything yet so the more that I get inspired the more I'll film content for YouTube but last year was really like a kind of stepping away from YouTube and doing more other things. I actually really did well on Instagram and I was really proud of that. So I had a lot of fun making Instagram content. Um, I worked with really, really cool brands. I got Fenty Beauty to send me a PR package. I mean, like I was really like pumped up about a lot of the stuff that I did on Instagram last year. So Instagram has really been my main focus and I kind of want to keep it that way for now. Um, YouTube is not taking a complete backseat, but I definitely will be easing off of YouTube a bit more to do more exciting content that I feel like will really get me pumped up you know what I mean uh, I took my mom on a trip I talked about this on Instagram one of my favorite moments of 2018 was taking my mom on a vacation we went to Atlanta it wasn't even like we went to Bora Bora or anything like that I took her to Atlanta and we had such a fun time I had a meet up there and everything so that was really fun um, I had my first in-person doctor's visit so I learned a lot about my body if you haven't seen my health videos you should check that out um, but I talked about all my health um, improvements that I've made so I am really excited about that. I built up a nice little team, a small, very small team, but a team that can really help me with my business behind the scenes. I got that under control. Okay, we're working on that and getting that right because I need my finances to be all the way right. We want no debt in 2019. I think that the financial things that I set up last year that I was working on last year are really gonna really help with that this year. Uh, I visited a lot of new cities. I went to Cabo, Mexico, which I really loved Cabo. You will see me in Cabo again because I loved Cabo. Which I did travel to a couple events. I went to UNC Charlotte and to Syracuse University and did some speaking engagements there. That was awesome. I visited Nashville for the first time. I really liked Nashville. Went to Austin and saw Raven and finally met Zaya. Zaya is my blue ivy, so. Me and Cam definitely bonded a lot more last year. We are on a whole nother level of connected. We're gonna talk more about it in our upcoming anniversary Q&A video that we do every year um, but I definitely want to mention that we definitely I feel like had one of the best years of our marriage as far as like really growing with each other I cried a lot last year so I needed him this is one of the first times he ever like held me and I cried he definitely was there for me the whole year so at the end of last year me and Cameron co-founded our own um, business so we are now a business like a full official 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 business so uh, I'm tired of kind of doing this whole YouTube thing this whole influencer thing mainly by myself um, and I want him to be more involved in it my business is growing a lot more now and I don't want to leave him out of it like I want him to be a part of it I want him to you know have a his hand in it too and I feel like before we weren't really not that we weren't working together but we were kind of separate he had his job I had my job and it was kind of like you know, but now we want to come together and make it one thing. So um, I'm really excited about that. We are business partners now. But the number one thing that this year I've really been focusing on is resilience. I was sitting on the couch the other day after doing my devotional and praying and all that. And I've really, cause me and God, we had to get this back together because I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram live when I, on New Year's Eve, but I was talking about how me and, me and my relationship with God was not good in 2018. Up until now, I haven't been consistent. I was kind of just going through the motions. If your heart is not in the right place and you're not in the right posture, you will be more liable to say something wrong, do something wrong, say the wrong thing, do the wrong thing. I'm never gonna get on here and preach to y'all when I know I'm not right. So that's why I've always kept that part of my life, not under wraps, because I've never been silent or hide my faith. But I just, I'm not gonna get on here and preach to y'all when I know I ain't doing right. I need to preach to myself first. So if you've ever seen me posting anything in regards to faith-based stuff, I was preaching to me. This year I was praying uh, and then after that I, I heard the word resilience and I was like, okay, obviously this is something I need to look up because I'm thinking about this word resilience and I don't know why. So I looked it up in the dictionary and then I looked it up on Wikipedia and just kind of read up on psychological resilience and how it works. And basically resilience is just bouncing back. The ability to handle stress in a way that's positive. So last year I was learning a lot about how my body handles stress, but mentally how I handle stress needs to change. Like I take in stress and I hold it in and I don't do anything positive to combat the stress is just in there and I don't really know what it's doing it's just bouncing around in my body and in my mind it'll come out of me in negative ways and I don't necessarily know that that's the stress but it's the stress so it'll come out in ways of me downplaying my abilities or, or selling myself short or not eating like I don't think I have an eating disorder but I know that 
I do emotionally eat. Sometimes when I'm not happy, I'm not eating nothing because I don't feel like it. I don't feel like going to get no food because I don't feel like leaving the house. Um, so this year, resilience is really big in my brain because I'm like, I need to be more resilient. I've always been able to handle adversity and stress really well. Um, but I think mentally, I'm, I've been breaking down. I've been softening up a lot. And so resilience is something I need to work on building back up. Just putting that stress, taking that stress and putting it into something positive. So resilience is one of those things I really wanted to work on this year. It's one of those things that I know I'm gonna have and I'm gonna bounce back from all of the crap that I dealt with last year. We're bouncing back, sis. We took some L's last year, but this year we bouncing back. I definitely wanna work out. I currently have on workout clothes. I have on a whole workout set from Gymshark. Do y'all see me though? Y'all see me out here? I definitely wanna work out more. I didn't work out today. I just wanted to try this on and put it on and act like I was gonna go work out, but I didn't actually work out, but you know, it's whatever. I do plan on working out. I'm either gonna start Orange Theory with Lexus or I'm gonna start going to the gym with Cam. I do wanna do Orange Theory first though because I wanna see how they help me out with building a routine for me because I don't necessarily know what to do with my body. I told myself I wanted to work out last year and I ended up not working out because I was really afraid that I would lose my progress with my hormones because I am a muscle butt. I remember when I was very active and I was working out and you know being very, I was very fit, my hormones were all out of whack so I don't want to go back to that. So that's why I've been kind of hesitant to work out. But this year, I definitely know I need to be more active. Um, this year, I want to be more consistent on Instagram and in, and in my business. But I also want to be more consistent with my faith walk and just be more consistent with anything in general. I want to be more consistent. I'm going to do more creatively. Um, I definitely have said that in the past couple of years my creativity has gone way down like I've been so bombarded with all this adult stuff that I've lost a lot of my creative mind my creative has just been shot and I need to get back to that I need to do more artsy stuff I want to post more artsy stuff on Instagram I want to take more god art pictures and do more fun creative things I just want to be more creative and I need to figure out how to get my creative mojo back so I've been coloring a lot lately but I do want to do more that involves me to be more creative especially in my business space because I am a creative that's what I do for my job I do want to keep a clean house not that it was bad it got better last year but this year I really want to be organized and clean because it really helps me to stay focused because when my house is a mess I don't want to be here I work from home so I need my house to be organized and clean I am working towards uh, saving money to put a down payment on a new home. As we move towards getting a new home, I do want to make sure that this house is taken care of. So there are some renovations and things that I want to do this year. Um, I'm not really pressuring myself to do it this year just because I don't know when I'm going to get my house, house, house. I definitely this year want to get laser hair removal. Um, I put that on my list of things because I noticed that I had a mustache when I was like 15 and then I noticed that I started growing chin hair when I was like 21. I want to say 21 or 22 I started growing chin hair. This has got to go. It's, and it's not even that it's a full beard. It's just like these little hairs here and there. They're just really long and thick. I don't know why they're there. But we're going to get rid of them. So we're getting laser. I've been scared to get laser hair removal up until this point. I'm fed up. I just need it gone because it grows back way too fast. I've got it plucked. I've epilated. I've waxed it, threaded it. It's, I mean, it's just, it just grows. And I will be documenting that. So stay tuned for that. Uh, one of my goals this year is to spend less money on stupid stuff because... It's like, I just be buying stuff. And I'm just like, I didn't need that. So I want to put my money towards things that are actually going to benefit me in the future, okay? Start putting more money towards retirement and all of that because, listen, one day I'm going to need some money. And I can't spend it all on shoes. Um, I want to spend less money on food because last year we spent too much money on food. I actually... I'm the worst guys I eat out literally every day I just you know and it's not my favorite to cook but I do need to cook more so um I do want to have some a consumer facing products so I do want to come out with something this year that you guys can actually purchase this year all, all in all I just want to have an overall carefreeness because last year I cared so much about algorithms and logistics and money and making sure I uploaded on time and I also had stuff for church to worry about a lot of stuff was just stressing me out and a lot of the thought of how much stuff I know I'm gonna have to do in the future was stressing me out this year I want to have a lot more carefreeness um, not that I'm not gonna care about my business and the things that I need to do but just do it more freely and not think of it as a burden and more as a privilege because a lot of the things that I have going on in my life are privileges and I'm blessed to be in the position to do them so for me to sit around and complain and be stressed out about it is just kind of a slap in the face 
to God and Jesus for giving me these opportunities. So making sure that I don't that I don't overwhelm myself with the thought of things that I need to do and just do them, but do them with a carefreeness to where I'm enjoying it. Especially with YouTube, I've, I've put so much pressure on myself to try to, you know, keep a certain level of engagement and keep up with the algorithm and try to do everything to the T so that my views are right and my money is right and everything like that and it's exhausting having this as a job has ruined the fun for me and i want to get back to the place where i actually had fun making videos and filming so and, and that's with anything i do in life having more joy in the process and less worry in the outcome and then things were leaving in 2018 i got a whole list of that things were leaving in 2018 ignoring god and ignoring my calling that's what we did in 2018 and it does not work the defeatist attitude making excuses doubting and downplaying my abilities resentment getting sick every month brand deals that don't benefit me and with that I would, i'm not gonna name any names but some of your favorite companies you will not see them um on my channel or on my instagram going forward in 2019 because I'm not gonna sell myself short. I'm not gonna allow people to step over me and take my money and take my time and my resources. I don't have time for that. Wasting time for no reason. Just, I took a lot of naps. I don't need to take as many naps. We're leaving stress and anxiety in 2018. We're leaving overthinking in 2018. And we're leaving the mustache and chin hair. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Those are my goals for 2019 and just my overall experience with 2018. Uh, for those of you who still tune into my channel on the regular, who watch every upload, who have your notifications turned on, thank you so much for being with me and riding with me all up until this point. I know that it's been a rough journey because I'm not consistent and I go missing and I come back. But thank you for keeping up with me anyway. I really appreciate it and I really appreciate you guys my victors because y'all are always consistent and y'all always show the love so thank you so much I will see you guys in my next video I'm actually about to record right now it's gonna be a really short video on how I'm going to execute these goals and how I'm going to be productive this year um, using some of the new apps that I have so I will see you guys in that video and I will talk to you guys soon bye